Bill Clinton. That's Andrew Jackson. He had all that lovely hair. Can't tell whose body that is. They all look alike. Lincoln. Obama's body is somewhere around here. There's Van Buren. There's Taft. He's, can't miss him. My name is David Addicts. I'm a sculptor and a painter. That's Calvin Coolidge, who was president when I was born. And there aren't many people that can say that now. There's Hoover, who was president when I grew up. So I went to Canada to visit friends. And on the way back, I drove through Mount Rushmore and saw that for the first time and was really overwhelmed by the majesty of it, the size of it. But the problem was I couldn't get close to it. You have to look at them through binoculars, you know, they're far away, to see that expression in their eyes. And I missed that part. So when I was driving back to Texas, the idea popped into my small brain. Wouldn't it be a great idea to do the presents big, but not that big? So I thought, I can't do just the four, I'll do all of them. So there were 42 at the time. And that's how this came to be. One of these would be Jefferson, the other would be uh, Washington, because that was the style. All those bearded guys were from Ohio, and it was kind of one after the other, and they all looked alike. And I have a hard time remembering myself. This, I remember, is Teddy Roosevelt by the tie. He liked that design, but his head is around the corner. Start with a life-size model in clay, and draw a line parallel to the floor every half inch. And then you, with a little contour device, you get those shapes, then when you have all those you convert that to acetate or film, put them on an overhead projector and project those on the styrofoam. And the styrofoam is then cut out and stacked up. And the analogy is kind of like if you took a, a green pepper and cut it up for a salad and enlarged every piece times 10, put it back together, you'd have that exact shape times 10. So you finish it off in plaster and clay and then make a giant rubber mold of the whole head Concrete is washed into those five layers with various reinforcement in the concrete, uh, fiberglass mesh and steel mesh. Then those two halves are put together. And one of my guys crawls inside and welds them together. And then that makes the head. All the heads are not the same size, eight of them are 20% bigger than the rest because uh, Arthur Schlesinger years ago decided to try to get all the presents evaluated in the opinion of the heads of history departments in major universities around the country. So when that consensus came in, there were eight of them that were called the great presidents. So I decided to make them bigger. My favorite would be Lincoln. Uh, because he was easy to do. There were so many great photographs of him, and it, his features are, you can't confuse him with anybody else. The hardest to do, sort of, was Ford, because he doesn't have features that jump out at you. The Beatles, why are they here? Uh, they're here quite coincidentally. They have nothing to do with the president's head. Well, I wanted to do standing figures that have no arms, but their instruments are part of the composition. I love the Beatles, everybody does, so the Beatles were a natural choice. Ringo is going to play drums on Roosevelt's head, now that's not right either. Big uh, monumental pieces, they have to be at a place where they can be seen. Here's Teddy Roosevelt, uh, there's George W, and here's LBJ, and that's Chester Arthur with all that sideburn stuff. It's a crazy idea, but I'm, I have crazy ideas. Here's Jefferson, and there's Nixon, Madison, James Madison, Harry Truman. It's a, a curse. 